Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is C. Blund. I'm Inka. And uh, today we're gonna track our blood glucose levels for the entire day using the uh, CGM by Very Stable. And uh, yeah, I just wanna look at how different foods, different supplements, different beverages affect our blood sugar levels. Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. So it's uh, 7.30 right now. I just woke up maybe like an hour and a half ago or something. When I woke up, my blood sugar was around 89, 87, 88, 90. And I took a cold shower, it went to 105. And uh, now it's 100 that I just uh, measured. And what about you, Inka? When I woke up, it was uh, 79 or 80. And then one day I noticed that these things spiked my blood sugar, uh, blood glucose. So women Health, vitamin gummy bears. <laughs> yeah women's hair vitamins and they have glucose syrup sugar and maltodextrin this i took one around 6 30 and this is what happened so it went to 107 at the highest and now it's lowering now it's now it's lowering yeah so check your supplements yes uh, but now yeah we're just going to drink a little bit of coffee with some um, milk it's like a cappuccino basically mm. I put some apple pectin as well, and glycine, and cinnamon, mm -hmm. and MCT oil. Yes, MCT oil. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. One hour later. So it's been about one hour, and uh, we're gonna do <laughs> the measurements. 107. So it did rise a little bit. 92. I think the coffee actually helped to <clears throat> stabilize the oh, response yeah. well, from the candy. Maybe. Well, you walked a bit as well. Yes. I didn't look at it. Yeah. I mean, naturally, your blood sugar should rise in the morning a little bit after you wake up, the cortisol rise in the morning, so... Yesterday. Can we test blood sugar response to apple? Is it true that one apple a day is good for your blood sugar? <laughs> <laughs> we will see it in a second. Ooh, 6.5. Mm -hmm. So it peaked a bit and dropped. So it did rise from the apple. 7.3. It went higher than I expected though. Yeah. 7.3. So apple is low GI basically. Mm. Low glycemic index. But the fructose is still enough to raise the blood sugar. Yes. End of flashback. So when we look at the um, say post morning coffee, then you can see it stayed pretty stable throughout the entire first half of the day, like 90, 100, somewhere between there, 97, 92, and it actually started to drop until lunch. And I uh, actually had like another coffee around 12 or something, and from there it was similar, and uh, it actually dropped a little bit. So I went to 80, 83. This is where I had been actually fasting for a long, much longer time, and it stayed low until the dinner time. My lunch was pretty pretty normal, like some protein, prawns, chickpeas, salad, and uh, went in a predictable way, sort of higher. Usually it's a bit lower or a bit more stable. It doesn't really do that peak, but it goes mm. a bit more stable. Then stays pretty stable until the dinner, which is somewhere here. And actually here, after the lunch, I went for a 20-minute jog. Like a short jog. Mm. So After dinner. It, yeah. So it was pretty efficient in bringing the glucose back down. <laughs> For me, I started eating dinner. My, my glucose was 100 and it uh, spiked to like 120. We did have like a lower carb main course and then like some um, granola, <laughs> homemade granola that you made uh, very tasty. But like still like a bit higher carb. It actually had trechelos, which is yeah, it's hard to sugar. <laughs> and stevia. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, vanilla, but it also had cinnamon and stuff too. Yeah. It was a very lower. very nice. Well, it not, well, didn't spike at all, and it went down 126 at max, and it's low right now. So that's very healthy or very kind of normal response in that sense. All right. So uh, there you have it. This was just one single day of uh, tracking our blood sugar with a CGM. I think it's. I think we didn't have like any, well, at least you had like one of the insights that this uh, one supplement uh, spikes your uh, glucose mm -hmm. and, and some other supplements as well that have like mm -hmm. some sugar do it. So, uh, but for me, it was quite predictable. Mm. And even sweeteners mm. yeah, in uh, supplements, they actually add that stuff to many things. So definitely yeah. check your supplements. Yeah. I mean, I mean like, you know, these things they have like two calories or something. Uh, but it still spike the blood sugar, which is very interesting. And l remember, like last time we did it, 
like the oat milk in the coffee also spiked it very high and the but the amount of the oat milk is like you know how much is it like one tablespoon or something a bit more mm. uh, so yeah it's, uh, it's very interesting of how even like small amounts can affect your blood sugar quite substantially yeah if the glycemic index of the sugar is very high yeah but on that um, where can people find you on social media Mm, I'm at Inka Immonen in Instagram and my web page is inkaimmonen.co. And I'm Seamland. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. Stay empowered.